When the traders come back from the Easter break, the markets really have a very different feel from that rally that we saw in the first few months of the year. Now fear is rising. You can see it in the VIX index in the United States and stock markets have stalled out. So what's gone wrong? Well, in a word, politics. At the end of this week, over the weekend, we get the first round of the French presidential election. And the candidates both on the far right, Madame Le Pen, and on the far left, Monsieur Mélenchon, have been moving to strong positions in the polls, although it's a four-way race with two centre-right and independent candidates in the middle. So that's keeping markets nervous along with uncertainty over Syria and North Korea. Of course, it's not just about politics. We'll be getting economic data. For example, in the US, we get the so-called Beige Book, where the Fed looks all around the US economy. And at the end of the week, we'll be seeing the business surveys, the purchasing managers surveys, both out of Germany and the Eurozone and out of the United States. But even if all that data comes in on the good side, that politics is still going to keep markets nervous. And what about company results? Well, we're really getting into the US earnings season now. For example, on Tuesday, we've got IBM and Goldman Sachs. And later in the week, we begin to see some German companies. At Werkstein, we are focused on results and events for our Zeitgeist companies. We've got the eHealth, which looks at the use of digital technology in health. And two of the companies in that have just announced a merger. We'll be watching for more. We think those Zeitgeists offer an opportunity for investment returns in a world which, in the short term at least, general stock markets look really very, very uncertain.